What's going on? Matt Savoka here from Awesomeo.com, bringing you my top plays on FanDuel for Saturday, February 26, 2022, filling in for my buddy Josh Engelman on this fine Saturday. And there is a seven-game slate. Should be a great day in the NBA. But before we get into this one, just want to remind you guys to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you always know when we're going live. You guys know what know what to do. And if you could give me Matt Savoka a follow on Twitter at Draftaholic. That would be much appreciated as well. We'd also like to thank our presenting sponsor, No House Advantage. No House Advantage is bringing you a different way to enjoy DFS with player props contests. It's 100% peer-to-peer to help level the playing field. They have over 500 player props contests offered, and all new users get a $25 deposit bonus with promo code AWESOMO. Mass entry capabilities, big prize pools, and you can beat your friends, not the house. Use our NHA projections and options optimal lineups tool on awesomeo.com to help you take down big prizes. Okay, guys, on the screen here, you see my 10 through 6 of my top plays here on FanDuel. At number 10, Washington's Contavious Caldwell Pope and Jared Allen and Corey Joseph and Kevin Love all have a 30% chance of being in the optimal lineup. It's that kind of day. With the Wizards forward, I get it. It's a pretty bad matchup against Cleveland. Now, honestly, this could be an ugly game, but we are loading up on front court members here. Jared Allen, Kevin Love, we really like them as well. And then Brandon Goodwin. If we're going to have this many injuries in the backcourt and we have a 5,400 salary player, we're going to see him pop in the optimal lineups. Now, he doesn't really have a huge chance of getting 45, 50 fantasy points but a really solid shot at 30 to 40 fantasy points. We haven't projected for nearly 30 minutes of play in this game, and that's why he's number six in our optimal lineup percentage. Who cracks the top five? Let's watch him find out. At number five, Detroit rookie Cade Cunningham. The guard should get plenty of playing time. We've got him projected for over 32 minutes of play, over 17 points, over five rebounds, and right at five assists. He's got a projection of 33 fantasy points. So in a point per minute uh, standpoint, that looks good enough for me. Hitting the GPP goal a solid 13% of the time and a nearly 17% chance of scoring 45 plus fantasy points. We'll take it. Cade Cunningham, the number five player in the optimal lineup, 31% of the time. At number four, another front court member in that Washington Cleveland game. We're just loading up over there, I guess, today. $7,400 salary for Kyle Kuzma. Looks pretty good when you consider the fact that he should play a ton in this game. We have him projected for nearly 36 minutes in that uh, still banged up Washington front court. Projected for nearly 19 points, nearly nine rebounds, and nearly five assists. That looks like a really solid all around game. And the ceiling projection is there a 31% chance of scoring 45 plus fantasy points. We'll take it from Kyle Kuzma sneaks into number four in the optimal lineup 31% of the time. At number three, Spurs superstar, Jante Murray. I mean, he has been amazing of late. Triple doubles all over the place. And we've got him projected for 19 and a half points, nearly eight rebounds and nine and a half assists. And I feel like that's conservative. Look, the minutes projection of 34 minutes right now on awesomeo.com, that's two minutes less than his, his per game averages over his last 10 starts. 9,700, I think is simply too low for Murray here. He's got a really solid median projection. I know Miami is tough defensively, but he still has such a good ceiling and floor here. I'm not surprised to see him sneaking into the top three. He's in the optimal lineup 32% of the time. At number two, we'll keep it right in that Spurs Heat game, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler was actually the only Heat starter last night in that win against the Knicks to have a negative plus minus, but that's just the way things work sometimes. He had an okay game, 22 points, contributed in other ways here. We've got him projected kind of right there again. 22.9 points is a median points projection, seven rebounds, 5.5 of six, and most importantly, a 35.6 minutes, minutes projection that is going to get it done a lot of times when you play out the slate over and over again. A 44% chance of scoring 45 fantasy points. Essentially, that's right at his median projection. So Jimmy Butler is that first player we're seeing a big bump up in optimal lineup percentage on FanDuel. He's in the optimal lineup 37% of the time. Now, before I reveal my final play, my number one play on FanDuel for this Saturday slate, just want to remind you guys to go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you always know when we're going live 
why. And if you could give me, Matt Savoca, a follow on Twitter, at Draftaholic, that would be much appreciated as well. Also, give Josh, Josh Engelman a follow on Twitter as well. Josh has helped me so much in the basketball streets, and he honestly is the GOAT. That's why he's doing these videos, but I'm happy to fill in for him on some Saturdays here. Okay, guys, let's get into my number one play on FanDuel. At number one, Toronto guard Fred Van Vliet. And it's great to have him back in the lineup, absolutely. But I still think one of the reasons he's sneaking into the optimal lineup so often right now is because the median projection for minutes right now is quite high for Fred, Fred Van Vliet. I'm not sure if I really believe that he's going to play 37.3 minutes. That's uh, a minute more than his average per minute play in over the last 10 games played. And if he does play that much, then I completely understand understand the rest of the projection, right? 21.2 points as a median points projection, 4.3 rebounds, 6 points as assists, 1.6 steals. That seems about right here, but I really think that 40 fantasy points only works if he plays that much. It's a solid, solid matchup against Atlanta, but it's not the easiest one in the world. Still, Fred Van Vliet, a 32.6% chance of scoring over 45 fantasy points and a median projection that is well, uh, well north of 30. So I see a solid chance for Fred VanVleet to have a ceiling game here. That's why he's the number one play on FanDuel at 8K in salary. And that is going to do it for my top plays on FanDuel for Saturday, February 26th. If you're looking for the DraftKings version of this video, it's around here somewhere. Go ahead and check it out. We'd also like to thank our presenting sponsor, No House Advantage. One more time, use promo code AWESOMO to get a $25 deposit bonus today. We will be back with all the NBA coverage you could want this weekend and moving forward this NBA season. Until next time. I'm Matt Savoka. We'll see you guys later.